Roger Lloyd Pack, star of Only Fools and Horses, dies aged 69. Roger Lloyd Pack, the British actor known to millions as slow-witted roads weeper trigger in BBC sitcom Only Fools and Horses, has died aged 69. Well known for his rubbery face and lugubrious delivery, he also appeared as Owen Netwit in The Vicar of Dubly. Born in North London in 1944, he was the son of actor Charles Lloyd Pack and the father of actress Emily Lloyd. His agent, Maureen Vincent, said he had pancreatic cancer and died at home surrounded by his family. Sir David Jason spoke of his sadness at the news, calling his co-star a very quiet, kind and unassuming actor who was a pleasure to work with. Although he played the simple soul of Trigger in Only Fools and Horses, he was a very intelligent man and a very fine actor capable of many roles, continued the actor, who played Derek Little Boy Trotter in the show. I shall remember him with fondness and for all the good times we had together. Nicholas Lindhurst, who played Del Boy's younger brother Rodney, said he was so saddened to hear about Roger. He was the most accomplished actor and loved by millions. I will miss him greatly. A versatile character actor who was at home with both comedy and drama, Lloyd Pack studied at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art rather before making his stage debut in Northampton. After appearances in The Avengers and other TV shows, his screen debut came in 1968 when he played a small part in The Magus. His breakthrough came in 1981 when he was cast as Colin, Trigger, Ball, the dim but amiable Rhodes Weeper who always called Lindhurst's character, Dave. If it's a girl they calling her Sigowney after an actress, he said of Del Boy's child to be. And if it's a boy they naming him Rodney, after Dave. Lloyd Pack was the only actor, apart from Lindhurst and Jason, to appear in both the first and last episode of the much-loved sitcom. Its success would lead the actor to call his role both a blessing and a curse, and express bemusement about his popularity with audiences. It's extraordinary to me as an actor to find oneself in a sitcom that's been successful and goes on being successful, he said. I can't go anywhere without anyone going on about it. His last appearance as Trigger came in the show's 2003 Christmas special. In recent years he was seen at the Shakespeare's Globe appearing alongside Mark Grillance and Stephen Fry in its production of Richard III and Twelfth Night. A committed socialist, he campaigned for nuclear disarmament and was a supporter of Left Unity, a recently formed, radical political party of the left. John Chalice, who appeared as Boyacy in Only Fools, said the news was very sad and very distressing, and that Lloyd Pack was irreplaceable. My thoughts are with his family, said the actor. He was a remarkable man and he'll be missed. Father Ted creator Graham Linnean was among others to pay tribute, saying it was very sad news. Trigger was an ancestor to Father Dougal and I'm glad I once had a chance to tell him so, he said on Twitter. James Corden called him an incredible actor and person, while Lord Sugar tweeted that Trigger had been one of my favourite characters. Sean Allen, the BBC's controller of comedy commissioning, said, the nation bids a fond and sad farewell to one of the most popular television sitcom actors of his generation. His death was also marked by CND, who marked his death by posting a picture of the actor campaigning against Trident, and by Tottenham Hotspur, the London football club he supported. We're saddened to learn of the death of Spurs fan Roger Lloyd Pack, it said in a tweet. The club extends our condolences to his friends and family.